on that first morning, what I always maintain from a courtesy point of view is so special when the director greets you and at least makes you feel welcome. And in this particular case, he said that he was so happy that I was indeed playing this character. And then said, the only thing is I need, um, I think a private word with you, Hugh. And he led me <clears throat> behind the main set that was already there, ready to start the filming. And I remember so clearly, he said, Hugh, and I thought he was just going to give me a piece of direction. But he said, Hugh, we do know your secret, by the way. And I thought, what on earth is he going to suddenly say to me? B -b because there's, there's a problem. He said, Hugh, I just want to show you something. Now, <clears throat> OK, this is the back of where we will be filming, OK? And as you know, your character breaks open whatever it is there. But I want to show you what, in fact, is going to appear. This apparition or apparition. Do you say apparition? App whatever. And I said, OK. He said, feel it, touch it. I said, OK, fine. Um, he said, you see, it, it's, it's a prop, OK? And I said, that, yeah, OK, fine. That's, that's OK. May I ask you, you know, but why you've done this? He said, because you have the reputation of being the only actor who is known to have actually collapsed during a recording of Emergency Ward 10.